in Florida because we got to share the road with turtles, people, bicycles, and golf carts. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Give me up. Give me up. I love this like long walk up to it. Hey, <laughs> teacher, leave those kids alone. <laughs> Guess where we're taking you? Where? I don't tell. Yes, we have lived in Florida for 40 years, and this year, for the first time, we heard that there's actual fall colors in Northern Florida, <laughs> right up by Tallahassee. So we're gonna run our little bodies right up to Tallahassee and see if we can find some colors for this weekend. But, but, I'm taking a leave in case there are any there, because you know. The only time that we decided to go up and see a little bit of fall leaves in Florida, what happens? A hurricane blows through Tallahassee. So we may be going up there to find tree skeletons, piles and bushes on the ground. Either way, we're going to shoot it and see what happens. So let's go. Come on. Come on, honey boo. Bring your rakes and go with us. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Wow, look at that. It's gorgeous. I'm not crazy about nighttime driving, but seeing this seeing this I like that it's pretty cool just before nighttime it's better <laughs> yes. I think we're gonna get there around 9 30 or so good morning guys good morning. we made it <laughs> got here about well about 10 30 last night and we got into the room started unpacking and the minute I opened up the suitcase I go oh no surprise yeah realized that Carol forgot to bring the toiletry bag so we had no toothbrush, no toothpaste, no deodorant, you know, all the things you kind of need for your day. So Steve was out at about 11 o'clock last night. Shopping at the truck stop. <laughs> My hero. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we made it, hallelujah. <laughs> no, the breath smells good. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> so today we're going, we're gonna head to uh, Toria State Park and it's right along the river. It looks really interesting. They've got a couple of plantations there that they've rebuilt. Uh, also, there's waterfall in Florida. Oh, can you believe it? A waterfall, like a real waterfall, not a man-made waterfall, but a real one, because they have actually had hills in this area, because in St. Petersburg, we consider a speed bump in the road as a hill. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be fun. Yep, and also, um, the hurricane didn't seem to do a lot of damage, so at least there are leaves on the trees, so hopefully they'll, some of them will have color. We're really hoping and praying that they do. Yep. So cool, and you come along with us and we'll head to the park. Okay. But first, what? I want to show them one of the things I love about Florida. Uh -huh. It's this. I love it. The moss in Florida. It's so cool. Spanish moss is called. Isn't it awesome? This is a pretty road anyway. Yeah, bad. No colors here, but hopefully when we get off on the two-lane road back more into the forest, we'll see something. Right now, we're on a smaller road, just two lanes. This looks really pretty. I don't know if we're going to get the color, but it's really pretty here. I feel like I'm in a different state with the, the little mountain roads, kind of. The rest of this road is just like this. Yeah, it's got a rust color over there to the left. That's called dead. <laughs> Gosh, I love living with you. <laughs> cool. Well, that's a lot of color, but this here is a pretty road. This looks like Bush Gardens, as far as the hill. Yeah. Alrighty, here we are. We'll see. Okay. $3 to get in. Unless you're on a bicycle or walking, then it's two. Let's go. No drone for him. No use for him. We can't use the drone here? No. Nope. Oh, darn it. All right. Shoot. All right, we must be in Florida because we got to share the road with Turtles, people, bicycles, and golf carts. <laughs> okay, that's who we need to yield the road to. <laughs> Share the road with golf carts. Okay, so they don't make it really clear where the trail is that takes you to the waterfall. The waterfall is called 
Weeping Ridge. That's why it's called that, because people are driving all over the place going, where is this place? <laughs> Weeping. <laughs> so you have to go into where it says Weeping Ridge Campground, and that, man, inside that is where the trail is at. We had to ask the park ranger, and he said it is, once you get down in here, it is labeled uh, waterfall. So we're going to find it. We've been driving around back and forth, back and forth, looking at the map, trying to figure it out. But when all else fails, just ask someone. All right, we finally found it. <laughs> the little hiking man. <laughs> I don't have a stick. No weeping, no weeping trail signs. It's so, right by the restrooms. A little In... bird poop on the sign. <laughs> so let's go find some bird poop. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's a little bit of overlook here. Kind of look, look down, you can kind of see the valley, it looks like. Oh, wait, is this a trail? Yeah. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, this is like a real trail in Florida. All righty. I think I should have worn my tennis shoes. We just came down here. We walked for about five minutes. And now, ta-da! Sign telling you you're in the right place. Note to Park Service, put sign at the front of the trail. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> trail is marked with, with blue paint on the tree, so you pretty much know you're on the right one. Somebody forgot a camera. Okay. Go. Kind of a little bit uphill here. I do wish I brought my tennis shoes. <laughs> hey, you. You're not in the frame. Right. <laughs> Are those plants? They're so cool. Really soft. Pretty. Like a weeping willow weed. <laughs> This is a perfect place to sit. Oh, yeah, let's test it out. <laughs> yeah. I'm not tired. It's just a... God puts us yeah. here for a reason. Just test it. Does oh, it yeah. work? Hey, yeah. you even got a backrest. Yeah. <laughs> Make note of this place right yeah, here. This right here. Yes. There's the trail. It's right next to a tree. There. <laughs> we came up and God put a bench for us to sit on. Or flat <laughs> <laughs> color. A little bit of color. Yeah, awesome. Oh, a little bit of color. What do you think? Yeah. We're almost there? Yep, three quarters Ooh. away. Awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Thank you. Give me up. Give me up. A little more color here on those trees there. Oh, I think we can go home now. Look. Hey, is that it? Is that it? Yeah, it's right over here. Oh boy. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to get you going down. Because I, I don't know. Does it look steep? No, it's just slick. Slick? Yeah, I think they flushed the toilet up in the campground. <laughs> sure it is. All right, let me get you down here. Where is it? Oh, <laughs> you can almost see it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you have your camera? Yeah. Cool. This is a Florida waterfall, folks. Get excited. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> Let me see, get in close and make it look really impressive. Wow. <laughs> hey Carl, slide on down here. Sounds cool. Almost back to our car. There's those steps we came down. <laughs> Help me. <sighs> All right, here we come. Oh, oh, we're here. Hallelujah. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like Mount Everest. No, it, no wasn't. it was really a pretty uh, easy trail. Yep. So. I don't think you have to be in any kind of special shape to go on it. It doesn't take maybe maybe 20 minutes. To yeah, about 25 minutes to go down there. About, about a mile. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy. Not nothing too hard. I wouldn't suggest going there if you're looking for a great waterfall. <laughs> I was looking for the person that's up on the ledge peeing over the edge. Yeah. That's how small it was. Anyway. But anyway, go and don't, and don't go in the summertime. It's, it's really hot. We were here. This is November and it was still kind of a warm night for us. But spring and winter, that'd be great for us. Okay. So now we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go to some kind of overlook and we're gonna go to the house, just to show you the house. And, uh, and that's it. All right. Okay, here's, um, just right across the road is the kind of overlook thing. Let's go see. I bet you look over something. I bet so. Well, not a lot of color. But this is a pretty view. You don't get views like this in Florida very often. You don't get high enough to look down on anything. Ooh, this is that building? Oh yeah, awesome. There's some kind of history here. We're gonna find out about it. The state park was named after this tree. Taria tree. Taria tree. China, Japan, California. Is the only this is it right here. It's like rare or something, right? Oh yeah. Like an evergreen. They had more in here, but disease got them and they died. Then a hurricane went through in 2018. Michael, was it? Yes. And wiped out 95% of the vegetation here. Whoa. We'll Can find you imagine? A picture of that. It does not look like it. No. Now, let's go up and see. What's this called? The Gregory House or something like yeah. that? Okay, let's go investigate. We'll tell you more about it. <laughs> Pretty nice. I love this like long walk up to it. That is the backside of the house. Man, this thing is pretty. Hey, this is the view down by the lawn with the river. What, how do you say that name? Apalachicola. 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 <laughs> hey, Paul. What do you want, Ma? <laughs> I like this view out yonder. That's why I built you this house. <laughs> That's a pretty nice house. Yeah. <laughs> I sure do appreciate it. I got it from Sears and Roebuck catalog. <laughs> Does anybody know what Sears and Roebuck is? I don't oh. think so. <laughs> Not no more. <laughs> I put it all together myself. It is pretty though. Can you imagine sitting out here on this porch? Yes, I can. And have that view. Wow, beautiful. The river's right over the edge over yes, there. Yes, it is. Pretty awesome. It was built in 1849, right around the Civil War. The Civil War came and it went into disrepair. This house was on the other side of the river. Then in 1935, the CCC dismantled it, numbered all the timbers and everything, and floated it across the river and built it right here. It's incredible. It's all furnished like uh, mid 18th 19th century uh, furniture. Really cool. Well worth the stop. Yeah. They're supposed to be uh, tours. Mm -hmm. 
but I don't know. Doesn't seem like there's going to be one today. Had enough fun? <laughs> That's it, folks. <laughs> we had a good day at this park. I um, I wouldn't go out of my way to go here. It was fun, but and if you're in the Tallahassee area, I would think it would be great. Yeah. Um, we we drove like four hours to get here, hoping to see uh, colors, but we really didn't. We've had a good time, but I don't know that I would I would do that again. I may maybe if we could find more things to do, but it was fun. That visiting the house was fun, and our little our little hike was fun. But it's been a long day. You know what's gonna be fun right now? Get some to eat. Eat. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna end right now. We're gonna go get find something to eat. Let's go do that. Then we'll head back to the hotel. Okay. Another country. Hey, if you didn't notice, yeah, a little bit chilly outside. Look at, I got a scarf on, a little bit of turtleneck. <laughs> Woke up this morning, it was like low, it was low 40s. 40s. Yeah, which is exciting for us because we don't get that temperature kind of very often. <laughs> so we're going to run and get something to eat. Yeah. Then what are we going to do? Um, we're not sure, but there's a lighthouse not too far from Tallahassee. And we're thinking on stopping there because there's no lighthouses down around where we live. So... We don't know what else we're going to do, but it's going to be fun. So, we're going to see if we can do a drone around it. Yeah. Right now, we're going to some kind of breakfast place. I think they have some specialty items. And we might just, you know, one of those French toast things that are stuffed up goodies or, you know, something like that. <laughs> we like to split that kind of stuff. So it's going to be yummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll wake up. Okay, let's go in and eat. Looks good. We'll see. Here we go. Yeah. We banana nut uh, waffle with caramel. And then because, you know, that's not enough sugar, I'm going to add some syrup to it too. <laughs> and then I have scrambled eggs with tomatoes so that, I, you know, I'm watching my weight. <laughs> and Steve has over easy with bacon. Bacon. Which he's going to, actually, he's going to give me a few of those pieces, pieces of bacon. <laughs> All right. Stop talking. Let's eat. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I don't think we like that waffle. No, it's a horrible place. Oh, terrible. <laughs> what time do they open in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kiki's was yummy, and now we're headed to the lighthouse. Yeah, if I could stay awake from sugar rush. I know. I'm kind of waiting sugar for crash. that crazy sugar crash. <laughs> sure was tasty, though. pine trees are a bit different than what we're used to out west. All their foliage at the, at the top, nothing towards the bottom. So we got in free because we had a senior pass. That's awesome. I don't know how much it cost was. And now we are at the visitor center right up there. So we're going to take and see what that is. Visit the visitor center. Visit the visitor center. So we thought that was a visitor center, but it's actually Nature's Classroom Education Center was closed. We don't need no education. <laughs> hey, teacher, leave those kids alone. <laughs> Let's go visit. The visitor center. <laughs> My silly husband. <laughs> Here it is, up this way. Okay, we can see the nice wild wildlife here in Florida. Jeez, that's a biggie, isn't it? Yeah. It's like most visitor centers has the same stuff. Pretty nice up. There's a lighthouse. Historic site. And myself in the picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> Historic St. Mark's light. It's really cool looking. 
Pretty nicely done. So that was really cool. We just left the visitor center. We stopped to get a map and the lady there at the desk was telling us that uh, monarch butterflies migrate through this area around October. And she said, there's actually a place where you can sit and the monarchs will be like zooming past you. She calls it a, a monarch butterfly highway. <laughs> so they, we're- They gonna, ride the Gulf Stream. Yeah, they're gonna, they ride the Gulf Stream. So we're gonna come back next October and see monarchs flying by us. <laughs> Isn't that too cool? That's awesome. So you actually do learn some things at visitor centers. <laughs> so we got some education. Yes, we did. <laughs> Lift up your heads, you weary souls, our God is not done yet. Our King will come with the morning light, bringing joy to the darkest of night. Carry on, all oh, you pilgrims, don't lose heart for the journey. At the end of your wanderings, lift your hands and bless the Lord. Carry on, all oh, you pilgrims. Don't lose heart, his strength will still come. At the end of your wanderings, you'll see the grace of your promise is unraveling carry on all you pilgrims don't lose heart for the journey is long at the end of your wandering look at that your That's so sweet. <laughs> There's butterflies, honey. There's three of them right there. Oh, cool. oh, I wonder if I can get up. There he is. There he is. Look at him. He's so pretty. So we just stopped for our last meal before we get back home. Our last supper. <laughs> <laughs> On the road. <laughs> it was super good. And we're in a little town called Stein Hatchi. Stein Hatchi. Stein Hatchi, right on the coast. Still just not far from the panhandle, right? Yeah. So we still got about three hours before we go home. But the food is really good. We had a cod and it was yummy. And it's right here on the water. So it's really pretty here. So we will be showing you. Okay, we'll see you at home. Okay. No, we won't. I think we got one more stop on the beach, right? One more stop on the beach. Yes. Boys, that's what we ate. Steve's trying to get all the birds to come. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh my gosh.
my gosh. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> yeah, really. Hi, guys. Hey. We are on the like the last leg of our trip up here to Tallahassee. Actually, we're not in Tallahassee anymore, quite a way south in a really pretty beach area. We were trying to find a beach and uh, we were looking it up where there might be one. And there was one that said, shh, don't tell anybody, this is a secret. And it really is pretty secret here. It's really yeah. cool. It's the longest uh, stretch of white sand in natural Florida, I guess, on the coast. There's you know, not like clear water where there's city. Yeah, it's just pretty. There's not anybody hardly on here. A few people fishing, but that's it. But it's really pretty. But anyway, I was thinking about our whole trip up to Tallahassee and how we had driven like four or five hours to get up there to see the fall colors and it was pretty disappointing what color we saw. We didn't really see a whole lot. So I was kind of bummed a little bit, but I remember the sermon that our pastor preached the week before and it was about giving thanks to God yeah. and everything. And so um, I, I also remember the, the quote by Willie Nelson, which is, when I started counting my blessings, my whole life turned around yeah. and changed. Yeah. So I thought, wow, that's really cool. And then Steve remembered a scripture. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, and everything give thanks in Christ Jesus, for that is the will of God for you. So you know what? We decided we'd just give thanks. Yes. Because we have we have a lot of things to be thankful for on this trip. I mean, we got here and we're almost home in just a couple more hours and it was, we, it was all safe, no, nothing happened. And we did get to see a lot of really cool stuff. You know what, women? We have a tendency would you want to do those pity parties. <laughs> Men don't do that. But you know what, if you just start thanking God, because we can all thank God for something. We live in the United States of America. Yep. You can just give thanks for that. And there's a lot of good people here too. I mean, there's a lot of things we can give God thanks for. And you know, when you start doing that, you just start feeling better. Absolutely. And you realize, hey, I didn't get to see colors, but man, oh man, I'm blessed. That's what God made Photoshop for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can even make those pictures look a little bit better yeah, than they like actually man. are. <laughs> you don't see this kind of stuff in Florida very often. So Driftwood. It's, yeah, it's really cool. So. This is all over the Pacific Northwest coast, but Not Florida. Florida doesn't have a lot. Not Florida. So we love you guys. And hope you'll come back and watch our next episode of Destined to Rome. See you next time. Uh-huh.